I haven't posted any videos for quite a while because um, I've been busy, busy trying to build uh, my new Westfield. Um, getting there and uh, supercharging the engine. But I had the uh, opportunity to look at the uh, oil pump um, and this is it. It's from a Ford Focus Mark 1. Uh, 99 to 2004 this is what it looks like from the front when you take all the bolts off this is what you're left with <coughs> now then the workings of it I inspected it because I wanted to know what condition it was so if you undo all the bolts yeah that's one and you remove the plate this is what it looks like inside now on first first look see you see these marks here and there's a few just there so that's first of all not a good sign um, Inspecting the workings, the inners. Um, if you will, with one hand I'll try and turn this, but the impeller, or gears, sorry, not impeller, gears, uh, they run there. And what they do is the oil from your pickup pipe comes in here, into the chamber here, it gets pulled round and in between here and pressure is generated by the tight tolerances and it finally spits it out that way and then it goes up this hole and then through the engine and through the oil filter one thing that a lot of people have uh, commented on is the pressure leaf valve which is uh, down here so that's just the end of the of the pressure leaf valve and it's up against its, its stop there so that stop, so I stop it coming all the way out. When the pressure in here gets high, it forces that down. The oil goes down that way and then actually comes out of here. Comes out of here, around and back into the inlet side. So doing a circle. <coughs> um, the pressure leaf valve done that earlier. All that is a screw and the spring sits on top of there. You get the spring out. There you go, one spring. So that sits on top of there, like so. The um, pressure relief valve is there. All the it's a tolerance fit. Um, it's not too tight. It's not too slack. But if you can imagine the pressure pushing down on here, and that sits on there and it presses it down, yeah. So that's the oil come through. There's not many ways it can stick. Um, I suppose it could wear on the sides, but something's drastically got to go wrong, or something's got to be blocked in there to. Uh, stop it actually working so if you will there's a that sits on there that's the full assembly right so that's the pressure relief looking at the gears there are a few marks on here on the face so if I take that out easy to lift it out with pliers to be honest it's just the uh, suction of the oil holding it there <coughs> little dimple this side face up now if you can see these lugs here these are driven round by the end of the crankshaft see these flats so the flats 
go on there. Now, what I've noticed with this one, this is the standard crank, cr uh, cast crank. It is a bit, you know. Um, but on the new, um, this is a steel cap crankshaft. It's very, very tight to, uh, in fact, it won't go on. So I might have to just uh, relieve that a little bit on the faces here, just a little bit, so it'll go on nice. Um, I won't do it with this one. What I'll do is I'll get the new pump because this one's goosed. Why? Right, okay then. Marks on here. Start to uh, get some marks on there. Where you can see them. You see radial marks going all the way around there. On this one. Again. Marks on the uh, on the first, you can see that. Yeah. On the other side, same again. Start to mark. On the uh, pump itself. Can't really see any other than uh, machine marks, but it, the machine marks look like um, either chatter from milling, where the um, milling tools chattered, or them marks have come off these gears with them wobbling a little bit as I. Um, Wobbling a little bit because it's allowed to wobble on the on the shaft. I don't know. I like. I don't know where the marks have come from on on this face, but uh, it doesn't look good anyway. So there you go. That's the workings of a two liter black top Z tip black top uh, engine oil pump. So if you do inspect yours and there's any marks like that. Yeah, on here, on the faces, on here, fit a new one, it's no good. Um, ingress of foreign bodies or something like that uh, has got in, so contamination of the oil a little bit, and uh, that's what happened. So, go it away, get a new one. Um, I've been trying to get all of a <coughs> OEM. Ford part went down to the garage yesterday. I think he quoted me something like 350 quid. <laughs> um, so uh, if I can't get one off another, off anybody else, new one, obviously, um, I'll have to get um, one from, say, Burton Power or even Euro Parts if they can get older one. Um, they're not going to be uh, Ford parts. But I am aware that they're made in, uh, I, I do believe they're made in the UK. So there you go, oil pump.